and welcome back to another video guys it's been a little while for me and in the last episode what I can remember is we made the 100 hour mark yes the all beautiful 100 hour so um yeah in between episodes I've just been seeing what we should do and I realized that we have a bit of ground transport, like tr trains and trucks. We don't have any air transport. And that's where this comes in handy. This right here, aeronautical engineering. Let's play with some drones. Um, I'll see you guys in the sky. Uh, I accidentally forgot to record this part of the video and that, well, a little bit, but basically we unlocked it and in order to build the batteries, which is like a key component because that's what makes it flies, we need all of these resources here, which you need aluminium, sulfur, more aluminium stuff. So, where else is better but the aluminium factory? Uh, there's a bit of the drone pool, but over there is a sulfur node where we got all our sulfur needs. <laughs> Oops, uh, uh, where's it? Where's it? Uh, there. <laughs> yeah, so that's a pure node fully overclocked, and there's the borax. But oh, here is the parts of the factory. So there's five blenders, and each blender need or oh, oh, the blender. This aluminium solution refinery can fill up every blender, no problem with that. Like it fills up all of them. But for the sulfur, on the other hand need a one refinery for one sulfur thing and I didn't feel like overclocking stuff now I mean I could but ah, also nice to look like this if I wanted I could really overclock all of this right here and have because it's all of these are making a hundred bat or it's 20 batteries each per second so it's 100 batteries so, or minutes, sorry. So if I completely overclocked one of them, it would be like 50 per minute. So 250. I, in between episodes, I, I did build a little underground station there to just transport some aluminium things up to the base. Okay. Now everything's over here. Oh, just close that up. Mm. So it's coming in quite nice in that. So you've got a low test platform over here for us to use. I'm excited to see. Uh, there. Yeah, MK3. There we are. Um, MK5, yeah. That, it's faster. Uh, splitters, splitters. There. Just click that there. So. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh, but we didn't actually hook the thing up to the power grid. That's why it's not working. I'm I'm quite interested to see how these drones work. I've I've played around with them two times in my 400 hours now. Yeah. So you get oops, the drone port then the drones. I can't remember for. But I believe it's only one drone per port. Yeah. Just one portable miner, that's it. And let's go. Uh transport the drone. Mm -hmm. Look at it. So let's just call this uh that uh nah. 
bet try to think of a cool name so yeah so batteries is the main power source of it <laughs> and should be filling up now we have wires in this drone can i oh there can't click on the drone but if i hold over to this drawer as i can see okay so if i i place the ports at the home base just so i could check so if i do that well let, let, let's see what it take off or it go does it go Ooh, there, there. let's see if we can ride it let's be in the sky I was about to say I'm gonna get a nice photo for the screenshots of that. Oh man. But anyways, now we can see the batteries for the uh, uh, map. <sighs> Look how fast it's going. It's going faster than a train. It does have less storage than a train. But I think it's worth it. I don't have to build all those funny railroads and everything. So let's just see. How many does it go to there? Wait, 200. And yeah, so if necessary, we can add more drone ports and that to go like up to the fuel factory. Because for the fuel factory, remember we wanted to turn the fuel into turbo fuel. So over there, we can set up a few ports in collecting sulfur and coal. For the turbo fuel and everything from over there and that yeah let's see how far is that it's still yeah it's still at the home one i wonder if it unloads everything and flies back huh. Can we see what it says? Uh, uh. Okay, it says no drone. No. I believe it's taking off there. <laughs> Let's see if we can see it from over here. Where are you, bet? Hey, you see that small little dot? There's bat. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Don't be shy, bat. Come say hi. Where are you going? Come. Come on. Don't you, don't you want to say hi to the camera? <laughs> mm. This is going to be really fun to play with in there. I do wish you could ride them, but uh. So, that was just a t test run. But what I'll do now is in between clips, I'll go and add the few things by the fuel factory. And I'll be. As I'm recording this last little bit, I just realized that half my video doesn't have audio because I accidentally turned my mic off. So, gonna have to voice over that so if it looks weird, sorry. But anyways, so we we built the battery factory basically on top of the aluminium factory, and over here at the fuel power plant, I brought the drone here, delivering batteries, and it's been delivering the batteries into a few. Right now it's just these two which have sulfur and the sulfur is coming from nodes over here, pure node and uh, no, two normals I believe, or normal and impure. So I'll have to see what the flow rate is for that is. But when I was looking at recipes for turbo fuel, uh, I mean, so you've got this 
standard recipe, then I got another alternative recipe, then there's one alternative recipe that I'm looking for, which isn't that, but it's basically using the blenders we used last time, uh, what is it, these, to make the batteries, and you use heavy residue oil, fuel, and charcoal and coal, or coal and sulfur, sorry, and it turns out to be way more efficient, and just makes more things for one line if I overclock 16 of these where they are these guys if I put 16 of them fully overclocked that's just one line of 600 so I have to see how much I require of heavy oil residue because remember over here we've got the 600 three 600 and one 500 so this 500 line might get rid of this bit here connected up there because that's four then change two of these two and those three there into is it this recipe which is really good for heavy oil residue which we'll need then we'll just build like I don't know uh, 48 blenders <laughs> there then oh, it's gonna be a lot cuz each machine uses one f yeah it's gonna be a lot of fuel generators and a lot just having the blenders cuz one blender uses quite a bit of power. Yeah, 75. Which these fully maxed out so I guess making about three oh wait. Yeah. No five or so. Somewhere around there of them. So could work for now, but we do have a coal factory all the way down here which we could take advantage of creates quite a few things over there yeah I think that's our best choice next episode we work on a like completely redoing that whole coal factory getting all the coal from around there to there then we'll build a massive coal factory then from there we'll be able to start the fuel factory which will be able to run the start the nuclear factory then once we have the nuclear factory we can build all the other little thingy mabobs and that which I have to say is probably the best way to go and when we build the f fuel generator I want to build these power storage because they hold 100 megawatts but if we can hook up the, all of these, the oil the, actually we don't need them because we've got these tanks for each one so if we can hook up all the refineries and then just the few of here the blenders to the battery system we'll be able to yeah, because then if something shuts down, we can disconnect it from the outsource, restart this factory, try to find the problem. I'm sure there's going to be a ton of problems here. Yeah, so that's the way we're going to go. Yeah, it was quite a fun episode, messing around with drones and that. And it's just fun seeing the flight patterns. Cause like they, they don't always go diagonally, so they will go down, sideways, down. <laughs> Even like here, they don't just go like, they'll go up into the side or upside, upside. <laughs> so you'll see like if you put one down 
here and one up there will go like in a funny pattern or just straight up straight across yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye now